Happy Thursday, Fairview friends and family. Um, thank you for continuing in your faithfulness of joining us as we continue to look through the book of Psalms and as we keep uh, chunking away at the 119th Psalm. That's where we'll be once again this week. We'll be in the Psalmic section or uh, verse 113. So if you do have a Bible or device with you and you'd like to follow along, I would encourage you to do so. Otherwise, I uh, hope you'd be blessed by the reading of the word of the Lord. This will be in Psalm 119, starting in verse 113. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commandments of God. Uphold me according to your promise that I may live, and let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up that I may be safe and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross, therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you that it is truth. Thank you that it is instructive. Um, thank you that uh, it, can, it will both comfort us in your righteousness and convict us of our sin and uh, better illuminate to us what your plan is for us and um, for this time you have called us to. Lord, we'd ask that we would humbly submit to what it is that you are instructing us and that this time, as every time, we open your word. We ask that it would be glorifying in your sight and it would be edifying to us as your people. We ask this in Jesus' name, Amen. This is a um, this is a, a psalm where uh, we kind of, we see that juxtaposition of um, I hate the double minded, but I love your law. Uh, Depart from me, you evil doers, so that I may keep the commandments of God. And it it really brings to bear that um, that struggle that we see, especially mentioned over and over again in the New Testament. Um, the struggle of our flesh and our spirit of the world and uh, the life we've been called to in Christ, uh, living as a new man and dying to our old self. It's all the same kind of, there's a way that the world will be pushing us and there's a way that God is calling us to. And um, luckily and graciously, he has given us his grace that we might choose him, that we might follow after him and forsake the things of the world, the things of evil, the things of the flesh. And at the very end, uh, verse 120, my flesh trembles for fear of you and I am afraid of your judgments. This kind of parallels, uh, again, a New Testament passage that uh, gets brought up a lot of working out your salvation in fear and trembling. And, you know, it's easy to go overboard and say, uh, therefore, we need to be scared and frightened of God in all things. And we can go the other way and say, well, fear doesn't mean fear. Um, but it's true. We, we serve and we love and we worship a truly holy and righteous and just God who will judge all creation and he will not be mocked, he will not be scorned and his judgment is true and the reason we fear him is not only that he is powerful enough to do so but we know that we deserve that judgment and it is only by his grace and the finished work of his son interceding for us that we are saved from it. So that fear we have for God is true, real fear but it is also the parallel side of his grace and his mercy and why it is he is such a great God worthy to be praised. So I would encourage us all to read this again uh, throughout the week before we come back next week and continue the look through Psalm 115 uh, and just meditate on the words of the Lord. Open his word, allow him to speak to us and see where he would lead us. Be blessed, Fairview, and we will see you next week.